Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is your host, Skin Red Fox. Come back with another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, the Navarre Edition. As you can tell, we are just starting from where we left off. Um, it's actually not the same day as when I was uh, playing my last playthrough. You know how, I mean, my last uh, episode, usually I'll start from the main menu and I'll just kind of go into the load screen all that. Well, I accidentally hit the little button on, like, the load, um, when you're going through, uh, Steam and you launch the game and I accidentally clicked the one where it said just start like from previous save so it just jumped right into the game so I mean not not a real big deal doesn't really affect anything but uh yeah so we are at the point now where we're dealing with this um you see I don't think I have anything else core position uh, I need to look for one whenever I can I, I got one right here never mind yeah it's not real good but it's fine um anyway. So, we do have some people trying to kill us. We, um, I think we are trying to assassinate one of the ladies. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, got all of the prisoners that we can. Uh, I want to fabricate a claim on me. That's fine. Don't really care a whole lot. Do that one right there. That ought to work fine, I guess. Uh, make sure everything's going good with this one. Okay, everything's being, everything looks good. Um, everything looks fine here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, actually, we're going to kind of leave that one right there for right now. Okay. Um, let me see. Can I, can I actually get any more troops in this? I think I can, actually. I should actually get 100 there, and I can get, oh, well, some of them are there. That's annoying, but it should be okay. I'm just going to go ahead and expand all of these boats right here. I only need the one for this guy. The rest of the boats can just kind of go wherever they feel like, I guess. Uh, Ari's fleet. Yeah, the boats, I, I have to make sure I actually put those up, because if not, they will, like, eat away at my, uh, my gold, too. So, um, yeah. That is the thing. we got to be careful about that. Um, we're going to lose these little few guys there, which is okay. I don't think that actually should matter a whole lot. That'll be a full 400. Actually, it is going to be kind of bad. We're going to lose a, a good bit of troops here, but... I mean, we're not going to have near as many troops as I was hoping we would, but that's okay. Um, I'm not too worried about these little guys. I have a feeling that we can actually kind of, like, fight these guys off if we, if we play it right. Or if RNG just decides to be in our favor for once. Um, RNG hasn't really been favorable to us here recently, but um, overall everything should be okay. I think we actually have some people helping us in this war, don't we? Let's see, do we actually have, like, these guys coming from anywhere? Uh, actually doesn't look like it. I mean, kind of. I mean, they're kind of running up there, but not really. Um, France is still in a war right here. They're at war with who? Uh, who? Wait, who are they actually fighting? Okay, so these guys are fighting them, and who is actually fighting their war? Okay, so France is fighting with them. These guys are whatever. They're not doing anything. Germany, I think, is fine. I don't think they're doing anything either. So it's pretty much just us. We're, we're the only ones that are really doing anything at the moment. We're just kind of chilling. Which is fine. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, go ahead and get rid of those boats. Um, I'm going to wait till after, I think, after a few seconds after you see, siege this. Because I think we might actually be okay. I think we might actually be able to do something here. Um, we'll try to whittle a few more, more of them away with that. But I don't think I was going to do anything. Uh, let's see... Anybody leading this? Okay. See if we can get anybody better than that. And yeah, that'll work. See what they have going on here. Most of them are light infantry. Most of ours are kind of like a mix, I think. But okay, I guess. So we're gonna fight them. Um, looks like we're actually going to win the right flank here, which is really good. Our left flank went down super quick. Um, we actually just lost. Wow, okay. That's um a little annoying. Actually, it's really bad. Oh, wow. We actually lost a ton of troops, and they didn't lose, like, hardly anything. So, huh. That's really annoying. Um, and it looks like Burgundy did, in fact, like, leave. Like, or, like, have, uh, are you now in, like, a little thing going on over there. So, we have to, we can't really, like, worry about them right now. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to raise, like, uh, vassal, like, fleets right here. Send them down here. Um, send them down here. 
Uh, we'll just go ahead. We're not going to worry about them. We're going to go ahead and leave those be. And whenever like, we get everybody here, we'll... Um, I really don't know how we're going to pick these guys up. I really don't know what they're doing over here. Not much that I can really do to help you guys. Um, never even found out. Like, that's one thing I guess I probably should look up. I don't think they actually can. So I think I'm actually, like, justified and just kind of wondering about that. But I, I was... I wonder if they actually do that. Money for the war chest is not going to raise itself. Um... Your subject. Okay, well. Sorry if it makes me look bad. I can't really do much about that. I need the gold. It's like super bad. I need the one with like the least amount of like gold intake per per month. <laughs> um. Uh. I mean, I guess it's not really all make much of a difference, but I'll go ahead and take these guys right here. These guys look good. And attach to always follow Army of King Rab Band. Oh. Hmm. He just, like, had, like, a ton of troops just, like, run up there from just randomly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send our guys down that way. Is Burgundy still in that little revolt? Yeah, they are. Oh no, they actually they actually aren't anymore. So that's cool. The castle. Yeah, we need our we need the the feudal guys to be in our favor definitely more than anything else. Well, let's go ahead and like actually lower these. And you know, while we're at it, we'll just lower them too. Like we're not going to worry about that at all. We're going to try and, like, raise our own levies up while this war is going on, because it doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't matter, like, so much what's going on with the rest of the, with the rest, as long as we just kind of, like, a little skeptical about everything else. See, make sure that I'm not giving this to anybody who's, like, in, like, one of these factions. Um, so, yeah, he's not a good one. She's not a good one, definitely. Um, the older lady, let's see about her. The older lady's not a good one. Um, yeah, with a little beard. He actually seems good. He actually seems like he's a good one to give it to. We'll go ahead and grant him the title, like the little extra one that we have. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll give him that. So that way our, uh, our levies look, are, like, more balanced out and everything. Everything's looking good with that. So now we'll just sit here and we're going to wait for this, because we have to wait for our, um, everything to go where we need it to. Go ahead and we'll just get rid of those boats so we don't have to worry about that either. Uh, losing 8 gold per month, so that's pretty annoying, but that should be okay. What we'll actually do is I can actually send all of my troops over here to this. Siege the county. We're going to wait for a couple days here. Excellent, the guy I guess was assassinated, so I guess that's good. I don't really know what we actually sieged there. I, I mean, I don't know exactly what we we took, but it looks good, so. See how we're going to look with this. We're, we're, gaining, like, we're gaining our morale back pretty quickly now, so I'm cool with that. Oh, we're actually going to get a ton of gold from this. That, that was actually a great idea. Like, I actually, that actually ended up working out really well for me. Now we're going to do it again. Uh, I guess he doesn't have enough gold for the last one, so that's actually, I'm actually okay with that. As long as we can actually, like, cut this guy off to gain the zealous trait, which I guess is whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, Aaron, it's going to take me a few seconds to actually get my, my morale up a little bit, but that should be okay. So now we're going to have to, like, fight these guys. Um, we're 600 troops up on them. We should just win. I mean, considering, but you never know, on all honesty. Like, it, it's totally up in the air with that kind of stuff. 
because like RNG could just get you sometimes, but that's okay. Um, it actually looked like everything worked out for us. Uh, now we have to go and like get back our own provinces and stuff, so we can not have to worry about that anymore. Oh, it's actually gonna take us a while to actually get this province. That's that's actually really annoying. Um, hmm. So we're gonna see. I wonder, like, I, I didn't. I don't think they left me. Yeah, they didn't leave me. I don't know how we actually like losing so many troops. Uh, it shouldn't be like that bad. I wouldn't think, but I mean, I guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna actually just like normal siege this now. Um, I'm actually losing that much gold per month either now, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, these guys actually took giant like loss right there with that, so I um, might actually like take this might actually be really bad right here, but again, taking the chance. Um, I actually got it, so that's great. That actually worked out great for us. Um, I wonder why we're still only ten percent. I don't think that we're losing that i don't think we lost like that much unless these two provinces really made that big of a difference but I, I would highly doubt that i would not even like suggest that that would be the case but i don't know we're gonna see um fine i'll give her i'll, I'll do that it's not a big deal hmm we're getting a ton of our troops back, though. That That is something good that's coming out of this, I guess. Uh, okay, so what we're going to actually do is we're going to stop that. And we're going to take this guy out, because he's a powerful person anyway, so. Anyway, here we're, in, we're only at 650 troops, so we're actually like not sitting real good with that. Hmm, we're still steadily, like, losing troops. It's really weird. Not actually sure why that's the case, but uh, it seems to be, like, the normal thing happening now. Um, we're at 10%. Hopefully we'll shoot up a, a little bit from this. I really hope we do, because I don't feel like dealing with this war anymore. This war is kind of, like, drug on a little bit for the last, like, a little bit, half an episode or so. Because it, it, it took, a lot, like, a lot of last episode, too, to actually do it, so... Um, I would really like it to end relatively soon, but uh, we're actually going to go down here. We're going to help siege this with this guy because he kind of went down there. So we're going we're gonna to be helpful with that. Not lost in secession. The Kingdom of Ireland will be lost. Let's see why is that the case. Hold on one second. I'm going to check something real quick. All right, I'm back. Had to check something right quick, but um, yeah, so now everything looks pretty good. We're just gonna see just province up. Hopefully, it'll work, but if it don't, there's not a whole lot that can really, they can really do anything here. I mean, uh, oh, we do have that, so let's see. We have a pact with this guy. Let's see where he's at here. Maybe form an alliance. He said yes, that helps out a great deal. And sweet, he did. A lot of arms, maybe. That's awesome. That that works. We'll accept it. Sure, why not? Let's see what he's got going on over here first. Well, uh, since you call your offer, he is willing to make a significant negotiation to your chess, but in return, you must promise to return a favor for him in the future. Sure, why not? How long is this going to take? Like, how much longer do we actually have on the siege? I knew it was quite a while, but hopefully it's speeding up a little bit. It's not. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. It's going to take me a few minutes, but we should be okay. Well, we're not losing that much gold per month either, so. Plus, we just got $200. I mean, 200 gold, so. I almost called it $200, and it wasn't good well at $8, but. The defensive pact against the Italians has been disbanded. I guess that's okay. I don't really know why that'd be a problem right now because I mean, they're not going to do they're not going to do anything to us anyway. So 
Ooh, the Caliph is actually winning that war now, so that's something. Ah, uh, let's see. Should be coming closer to this being over with. Two more. One more. Let's see, it should be soon. There we go, 13%. Ugh. Still not real good numbers. Still only 7% for this. What I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to like pause this and then like resume the episode whenever I'm done like sieging these because it's going to take a little while. Let's see. Alright, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it right here and then I will resume it here in just a moment. Alright, we're back. Um, It seems like everything is going okay now with the war though. I'm just kind of sitting here... Uh, I'm gonna go attack these guys now. Um, just realized this actually isn't one of the provinces that he took over. This is a, something had something to do with actually another war that's going on. So another thing I found out about what's going on around every around here, I guess I don't really think it's gonna affect anything. We're just gonna chase these guys down eventually, hopefully. And they got another fabrication of a claim. They just yeah, that's one of the things that happened. They fabricated a claim. Now they have two. So. We're just kind of relaxing with that. We're not going to worry much about that right at the moment. Um, got 100% on that finally, so it's looking good for us. have 800 troops right here. Let's see if we can pick another. Here, see you run prosper. Staying at peace for five years. Oh, I, I don't think I can do that. That would be a little difficult. Um, anyway, so let's see what we can do here. What can we go to war with here? That's I guess that's a big question. Uh, who is this right here? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, are these guys doing anything? No, they're I can't do anything to them. I declare war for that, and I can't. They're not. They don't want me to. Um, she got 2.3 something k. If I go to war for that, it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna go to me anyway. So let's go ahead and lower this. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and wait. Let my uh. My stuff kind of go back up a little bit. We're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, and it looks okay for right now. There's not a whole lot going on. Uh, England's kind of having some trouble. I don't think Aquitaine's doing anything, which is good, as long as they're not, like, doing anything to me. Which, I mean, I don't think they can anymore from tributary, so they can't really do anything to me. So that's good. Um, these guys are constantly having trouble, so... Uh, the war against Caliph was won by King Toro. Okay. Okay. Oh, that guy actually stayed out of, actually agreed to stay out of factions, which is really helpful. My sheriff and I discussed what we should do about the outlaws and came up with two ideas. Every man and woman who had been harassed by bandits, including the sheriff, had been told about the leader's skill with the bow. And archery contests must lure him out of the ones below for us. Another option would be used to disguise to find the villain and bring them to the court. Um, archery contest, of course. Let's, go, let's do the archery contest for sure. And I guess I guess that would include hold a grand tourney. Okay, let's see if that, I don't think that's actually going to do anything. Archery contest, yes, yeah, it didn't do anything, but we can still hold the grand tourney. Uh, that didn't work. Hmm. So let's see. This guy's actually in hiding now. I'll lose this trait in hiding. So this guy's no longer in hiding. So that's good, I guess. Just kind of like reading all these. As a stone leader and I would go 
Hooking for a trench together without any of the other merry men, they grumbled a bit but was silenced by a leader who thought it would be an excellent idea. As we walked down the road, we saw a man clad in horse skin leaning against a tree. I wanted to con confront the horseman myself, but the stubborn leader did not listen. While he talked to the horseman, I was attacked and tied to a tree by one of my own sheriffs. The leader of the merrymen returned, saw me tied to the tree, and killed my sheriff before he cut my ropes. Okay, I guess we'll leave him alone. Found out nothing. Go ahead and, like, make a live about him and see what he says. Uh, let's see, we're actually no longer going to try and kill this guy, though, because he's no longer in a faction, so what we'll do is we will try and get this lady right here. She, we got a 38% on her, so shoot, we, we, we should be fine. And yes, I did say shoot, so. Uh, so that did not work. She's a moderately powerful uh, vassal, but we actually are having 81% on her, so that should make should make things pretty easy. Yeah, and see that happen there. So we, we're actually looking pretty good here. Bands enjoy the tournament. Prosperity of your capital increased slightly. That's cool. Uh, I actually like that. That was pretty neat. I don't think it really did anything for me, but uh, it's it's nice to see that I've I don't really do that too much, but worked out, I guess. Go ahead and try and get like one of these some of these laws like passed for me, but. Economy, let's see. Getting like a lot of like different we're getting like a lot of like different like technology increases here, so that's pretty cool. Uh we're actually getting quite a good boost. The one that's not getting the most is military advances, but everything else is actually doing really well. Let's see, and we actually do have like one more thing we can build here, like if we ever actually do get like the opportunity later on, but um not too big of a deal right now. Uh we'll accept it, why not? Oh, he's attacking the Caliphate. Um, are they attacking? Wait, Aquatine Holy War for Barcelona. Oh, so he's actually fighting for it. Okay. Let's see if we can't actually, like, ask these guys to come into our war. Can they? No, it actually doesn't work that way. So that's pretty, it's pretty sad and disappointing, but it should be okay. Council has rejected. Okay, so they rejected that. That's fine. See how many troops do they have? They can't have near as many as they did. They 14, yeah, 14,000, I mean, 15,000. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, they technically they don't have as much, but I don't really know. Like, I always get nervous with these guys because they always do like crazy stuff. But, yeah, see, they have like 8,000 right here, and they're moving their troops all around like crazy. So, it's hard to say what's the best thing. I mean, if Aquatine actually takes this, they'll um have a pretty good strong like they have a good strong argument for actually taking Spain over. Um, I really do need like um I still need to sow descent between Aquatine though, so we can actually like get rid of them like so they can actually like you know split up. I mean, it's good if they actually start taking over parts of like parts of here, but oh, what just happened? Oh, so we're actually fighting like one of the. The duchies. What's she doing? Claim over Nice. What are they fighting over? Like which piece? Like which piece? Uh, hold on. Lucian claim on Nice. Who who's fighting who? Though? That's the thing. This ended. Oh, okay, so that ended. Whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't really care. Fine. Um, I'm just accepting like invites as they come by. I don't think it really makes any difference because there's nothing that they can really do with it. We are gaining like 11 gold per turn, so that is like helpful. Oh, we're gaining 19 gold per turn. How is this happening? I don't really.
really know. I'm kind of confused myself, but I'll I'll take it. I guess I don't really know. Uh, I actually do have like a really good chancellor. See if he has anything. Thirteen point five one, and it might actually work out. So that's good. Um, we're just gonna sit here and chill. There's mostly like a lot of watching everything going on right now because we're still so weak. We really can't like jump into big fights or anything. So. Let me see how our troops are doing. Um, troop wise, we're actually got about six thousand troops now, so we're actually looking like really good in that sense, like how we're actually looking, you know, in respect to them. So I'm happy. The lack of piety I have observed in one of my courtiers makes me worried. I wouldn't want to accuse anyone of not being a good Christian, but if my suspicions are correct, then something needs to be done. Hold on one second. Someone's calling for me. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, hold on. All right, let's see, who can we get now? Um, probably best just to go ahead and try to get this one again so we can try and, like, do what we can with that. Um, are we going to get any help here? Yeah, we got three people. We got 11 for one. Yeah, that's more than enough. You guys can say something I refuse to ask. Turn um whatever. Alright, let's try and like line everything else up here. So now we have a eunuch, which I don't I never know what they actually do. Like what good do they actually do? I guess, like, you can probably, like, comment that in, like, the section below, but I'm actually curious, like, what is it that they actually do? Like, what are Unix, like, good for? Like, what do they provide? Hmm. Wait, hey, hold on. Are they attacking the French Italian this year war over, uh, Kyrlos or Corrale? Corrale? Corrale or whatever it is. Uh, how many troops do you have? 1,400 and something. And this guy has 1,400 and something, but he's also fighting somebody else. He's defending against two. Hold on, my dog's saying something real quick. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but yeah, that was my dogs. So I had to let them in. Like, they were kind of like whining outside the door, so I went ahead and got them real quick so they would stop. So, yeah. um, Actually, it's looking pretty good for um these guys down here. I'm actually happy to see if they're winning. Um, It, do, it, it helps me out a lot because these guys always give me a lot of trouble. So, if I can actually weaken them up, I can actually start taking some of these other provinces back and stuff like that. So... I mean, it's always a beneficial thing. I just wish they would actually start attacking each other, like whittling each other's numbers down, but they're not, so it's kind of kind of makes things a little rough. We can't fight these guys until 94, so that's kind of annoying. Um, see how the, uh, will Spy Master ever bring me good news? I don't know. I don't even know what, spy masters, what my Spy Master is even doing right now, to be honest with you. See if we can't actually do that. Oh wow, we actually have a ton of people for this. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's actually kind of crazy, like we actually have like a ton of people who are like willing to actually join us for this. Which helps us a lot. So I mean, um, let's see this guy right here. Um, we'll go ahead and release him. I mean, seventy gold, like in the bank. We don't have to worry about that like later. Like, like the gold itself is just more valuable than anything else right now. Like the gold, it's just so super valuable. We got three thousand gold, three thousand troops right there. See this person right here. How many? He's got nine thousand. So there's really no fighting that. Any 
against this person right here from Kent. So, I mean, she, she's having a hard time. Let's see what she's doing. Um, the English Revolt's winning by 76%. Not a shocker there. Um, she's winning against Kent, which is not really a daughter of Satan. Good lord. And then they're defending against these people right here. I think I think they're defending against them, but either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see how everything's looking down here. I mean, this is looking pretty standard. I don't think there's anything else going on over there. Let's see, uh, your realm's being ravaged by one. Um, looks like small boxes got me over there, so that's a little annoying. It's actually like raining super hard outside right now, so that's pretty. If you if you start hearing like thunder, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm actually gonna take a good look at this. Oh, we actually got um, an assassination attempt on the. Uh, Queen of Aquitaine, so that's pretty. That's pretty good for us. We can actually pull it off. I, I want to say that's what it was. I want to say it was for Aquitaine. Oh, and she actually died. Wow. Okay. So let's see if we can't do the same thing. Just keep going down the line of them, like just seeing what we can pull off. Because more and more, because still the same people are still like not maybe not all the same, but most of the same people are still coming. See, one hundred thirty-four percent. So. Who is this Princess of Aquitaine? And I don't even know what hers would be. She's only got one sibling, so if we actually got rid of both of them, it would probably just all split up, and that would be it. Which would be super, like, great for us, because we could actually, like, we wouldn't be tributaries anymore, which means we could actually keep most of our gold. We actually don't think we're tributaries anymore. Again, one. I love that option. Like, you either get depressed or you can get plus one diplomacy. Pick your choice. We actually are not tributaries anymore, which would probably explain why we're getting so much gold, as you can see, 19.6. That's probably what's been going on. And we're actually just allies with these people now. Yes, yeah, I think that's all it is. No, we are not even allies anymore. We're just a part of the war because we were there at the point in time. So it's actually really good for us. It's actually really fortunate. Because we're like getting so much gold now, as you can tell, I'm probably gonna have like a thousand before, over a thousand before the end of the video. Whenever I decide, that's actually gonna be actually gained falconer, which is a pretty cool trait to have. Um, I mean, have over six thousand. We're actually gonna approve a plan and see what happens. I would really like it for it to like be pulled off, because that would be really cool. The world is too cruel for children. It actually worked again. So, regent. Okay, so if this happens, like, her regent will be <laughs> the one who inherits it, which is hilarious. It's, like, some random person. Oh, and there's a ton of people coming back. Actually, even more people came for that one, and still coming, it looks like. So, we're gonna, like, I mean, RNG is, like, super helpful right now. I guess that's why you always, like, look to see all the possibilities of what can possibly happen. Like, what are the chances of that happening? Like, very slim. Like, the only downside is that Aquitaine is gonna get, like, isn't gonna, like, win this war and take these two fuel provinces right here if this pulls off and the war ends, which I don't know if it's gonna end or not, but it's probably gonna have a pretty good chance of it ending. And, but that's the thing, though, if it splits up, we can actually, like, take back, like, some of this stuff over here, because I'm hoping that's the case, like, whenever that happens, they'll just lose, like, a lot of their stuff. Um, my liege, there's a rumor here in a bar that one of the local nobles might be corrupt. Handled wisely, this information might be used to implicate one of your enemies here. You can use it as you see fit. Okay, whatever, that's fine. I don't think it really matters or means anything at the moment, so... These guys have, like, actually, like, not fought at all. Like, if this guy would have been sorry and just, like, attacked them a little bit... It would be so much easier for them to win. But they have not, like, managed this well, well, this war well at all. Ah, man, I almost stuttered there, like, super hard. Like, it was, I don't know, it was, like, for whatever reason, like, really hard to say. But nothing, there's nothing against us. Faction's pretty much non-existent. Um, this chick is still, like, <laughs> this, this chick is still, like, trying to, like, Attack me. I don't I don't understand why But whatever not too worried about that. Let's see. Oh Okay, let's see my son's the one favored for Navarra, which is fine um, I, I mean Asturias same thing um, Ireland same uh, Brittany is the same in Scotland 
like she agnatic cognitive primogeniture. Um I don't even know. Like I'm I'm just like doing this to see like if we can like get like more and more people to uh see if we can try to split up Aquitaine, like that's what I'm trying to do more than anything else, but it's not it hasn't quite worked out the way I would like it to, but I mean, there's not really much that can be said or done for that right now. There's not much I can do to stop it. It's just the way it is. Um, I want to actually see if I can do that. A new empire is founded. John is no longer spy master. Can I actually do that? Oh, my spy master has been murdered. That's that's awful. Let's see. I want to I want to see that. Looks like even more people joined. Oh yeah, even more people are joining. Hmm, can I, I wonder if I, I want to sit here and think of this for a minute. Can I actually do this? Do I have enough? Let me see what, like, the things were for it. Realm size has at least three kingdoms, or has a realm size of 180. Well, I obviously don't have the realm size of 180. I think I'm just gonna hold off on that for a minute. Like that that option's not gonna go away. I wanna get like a little bit more gold. I actually wanna have like enough to be able to defend myself. If I did that I would only have like six six gold and there would be nothing I can do to stop it. Like that would just be all there is. Oh, we actually do have a plan to to continue the assassination. Let's see what happens with that. And see now they can't actually like win anymore. Like they, they're gonna fight, but I don't think they're gonna win. I think this is pretty much over. This war is over with. I, I would. Um. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's not looking good. Yeah. May have been a little too hasty. I guess something happened with that. Um. Yeah. It looks like these guys are gonna come out ahead on this one. Um. Italy, I would imagine, is winning now because they're not in war with anything anymore. So. Yeah. They're they're beating France. You know. They must have. Went, they must have actually fought somebody. So. Uh, looks like Molly is defending against somebody. Oh, they're attacking these guys. Right? Wait, what? I mean, they're actually attacking them. Yeah, they're attacking these people. I'm like, what happened? And Ghana must have just no oh, defensive pact against Hispania. Okay, that's one inheritance warning. I don't, I don't really care about that right at the moment. Okay, we actually got another plan out for this girl, so that that'll be good. Only like what three, so this should be fairly easy. Like, let, let's hope that it works out good. I'm I'm kind of hoping that it does. Good but bad. I don't I don't really care. I mean, what's what's gonna happen? Now we're gonna do the same thing for this one. Um. Okay, we actually didn't quite get near what we needed for that, but that's okay. Uh, we kind of screwed up some of the things going on in Aquitaine. They're going to lose this war now, so they're super weak. I'm actually pretty happy about that. That, that like makes things much easier for us. It actually looks like Francia is going to have a hard time now with these guys. So Yeah, they still have 8,000 troops, there, so there's no real fighting them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's like, and see, that's the thing. I'm like boxed in between like three super four superpowers. I'm boxing by France, Aquitaine, um, Formosale, I mean Formosale, and then Ireland. I mean, and then England over there. So, I received your letter of complaint. Petty noble from has spent a week visiting Navarre, constantly bragging about his wealth and estates back home, insulting the local peers and behaving like royalty. Your courtiers are quite sick of him and are asking you to take action. Uh, write a formal complaint to King Rambant of Burgundy. Really courtier, make him go away. The option is intrigue. Accidents happen all the time. Sure, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll make it, like, interesting, being that we have intrigue and stuff like that. It'll, it'll be, like, a, you know, like, so it just cancels out. Like, it won't matter, because nothing will happen, really. Uh, these guys are super strong. Like, can't really do much with them. Uh, they actually have, like, defensive pact, pagan defensive pact, Christian defensive pact, Knights of the Templar, actually, and then we see the Muslim defensive pact. They actually have a defensive pact against, like, everybody has a defensive pact against them, which is 
because they've actually got something way over here. They actually got all this over here. The offices are actually huge, too. I didn't realize they were as big as they were, but, yeah, they're actually huge. I'm actually surprised this character's, like, hung on as long as he has. 68 years old, he's still kicking. Um, Byzantine Empire's been struggling. I think, obviously, it's being as strong as they are has really hurt them a little bit. But they've actually come down into here and, like, took a few of these provinces, so... And I think Italy, being as strong as they are, hasn't helped them any. But it does help, like, you know, all of Europe being fractured up and stuff, so... I'm just going to kind of like count down the days until we can actually go to war with this girl here. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for here. One, and there we go. Negative 200 and reinforcement. Ooh. Well, let's see what happens with this. Uh, it looks like actually Molly usurped a title from somebody. Get the. Let's get this guy here. And we're now actually going to war with this person if we can. Um, let me see if I can't try something here. So what I think I'm going to do now, being that I have done all that with Aquitaine, I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to take the last two provinces of Scotland and just be done with it. I think that would probably be the easiest thing to do. Let's see, how am I looking with this? Oh, I need a better guy than that. 14. That seems good. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please drop a like in the section below. If you want to see more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. It means a great deal and it helps out a lot. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.